our pursuit of the question of whether routine periodic fasting aids individuals in reducing their risk of coronary artery disease and diabetes. One of the things we found that's very exciting is that fasting is causing the cells throughout the body to go into a self-protection mode where they optimize their operations. The other thing is that it makes the body look for sources of fuel elsewhere other than from food because it doesn't have any. And we have recently been completing a grant project that was funded by the Intermountain Research and Medical Foundation. We enrolled individuals who are pre-diabetic. We measured things related to diabetes such as blood sugar or glucose, and we also measured weight and cholesterol and other factors. We found that individuals who, who fasted once per week for this month and a half, that they had a, a reduced weight and also reduced blood cholesterol levels. We now have enough data. We're, we're preparing a grant application for the National Institutes of Health, but Initially, the idea that fasting might reduce your risk of coronary disease was, uh, in many people's minds, laughable. The foundation has provided the initial seed money for the studies that we've done uh, on fasting over the last decade. And without the funding support of the foundation, these studies would not have been possible. We're very grateful for all the support that the Foundation has provided and for the funds that have been donated by all the donors who support the Foundation. It has provided a, a new piece of information that in the future could be something that will help prevent coronary disease and diabetes and make it so that the problems that are associated with those diseases just don't happen in many lives.